What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Now this is the brand new Honor 9X Pro, priced at only 250 euros. This is a flagship spec smartphone with lots of premium features which you just don't get at this price point. Now under the hood you have the Kirin 810 octa-core CPU that's 7 nanometers of flagship power combined with the Mali G52 you've got 8 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage so already the specs sound amazing for the price and on the front you are looking at a 6.59 inch IPS full view display with a screen resolution of 1080 by 2340 with 391 pixels per inch so you do have a full view display so no notches nothing in the way minimal bezels and a very tiny chin now there is no doubt Honor's new handset offers premium and flagship features for a very low price now the 9X Pro is made from dual 3D phantom glass with a curved back. It features a striking dynamic X design which really does stand out. And this is everything that you get in the box including a standard 10 watt charger. You also get a USB type C cable, a pair of 3.5 millimeter wired earphones. You also get a clear silicon TPU case and I will briefly pop the phone in the case to show you what it looks like. Now in the hands it feels very premium with a thickness of 8.8 millimeters and weighs around 206 grams. So it doesn't feel plasticky and light. This actually has some weight to it with a glass finish. So a very nice premium design. Furthermore, you have a generous 4,000 milliamp hour battery which comes with a standard 10 watt charger. So this phone does not support fast charging but it takes only two hours to fully charge this smartphone from zero to 100%, so not bad. Now the Honor 9X Pro has the power to play any game you like. I did download Asphalt 9 from the app gallery and then I downloaded a third party app store called APK Pure where I then found all the apps I could ever want which included PUBG, Call of Duty, Minecraft, Pro Evo Soccer, FIFA, Netflix, Geekbench, Showbox, WhatsApp Messenger, Disney Plus, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So all the apps that we use every day you can easily pick up from APK Pure and App Gallery also has a lot of apps as well so I have every app I need for this test and for my everyday usage. Now let's talk about gaming I was playing Call of Duty Mobile on high graphical settings and it played super smooth with no lag or frame drops and here is some gameplay footage. Now at the bottom of the device you will find a headphone jack, single microphone, USB type C port and a single speaker. And on the side you have your volume rocker and power button. Now the power button actually doubles up as a side fingerprint sensor and the fingerprint sensor is actually very responsive. It unlocks the smartphone very quickly and accurately every single time. And as there is no option for face unlock I'm glad to have a super fast fingerprint sensor to make up for it. And there is nothing on the other side and at the top of the device you have a single microphone a hybrid sim card tray so it can take two nano sim cards or one nano sim card and one micro sd card up to 512 gigs now next to that you will see your pop-up camera now you do have only a single speaker at the bottom of the device now it does get quite loud and clear it's not bad quality for the price I have definitely heard better but as long as you don't cover the speaker up with your finger especially when you're playing games it does a pretty decent job and here is a quick sound test.
Now let's talk about the cameras. You have triple cameras on the back, a 48 megapixel main Sony sensor, an 8 megapixel wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with the ability to shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now on the front we have a 16 megapixel pop-up camera also capable of shooting 1080p video. Now let's check out the camera menus. So lots of camera features. You have aperture mode, night mode, portrait mode, photo. Now in photo mode we have some tweaks on the left which include AI mode and some fun filters to play around with. The maximum resolution is of course 48 megapixels but you also have the option for 48 megapixel AI ultra clarity and this option will take a photo in around four seconds similar to how night mode works and it uses AI technology to give you the best photo result possible. And here is a quick photo showing you guys the wide angle lens now in video mode, you also have the option for AI mode and fun filters, along with the ability to shoot a maximum of 1080p at 60 frames per second. And here is a quick indoor video test shooting at 1080p 60 frames per second. And you can in real time change between the three lenses whilst shooting video. So that was a very quick indoor test. Let's take this outside, shall we? And here is some outdoor footage. We are shooting 1080p at 60 frames per second and you can see quite easily that there is no image stabilization available in this mode. However, when you switch to 1080p 30 frames per second, you then have image stabilization. But you can also switch between the three sensors whilst recording and this is what you can expect in terms of video quality. Now this smartphone is running Android version 9 with EMUI 9.1.1 on top. Now the OS looks good, apps open and close very quickly, there are lots of tweaks to play around with and the overall EMUI experience is very good. And I do hope Honor drops updates for Android 10 in the near future and should that happen I will certainly update you guys accordingly. So that was my quick overview of the Honor 9X Pro. I have been using this smartphone for a few days and I have to say I am getting on with it. I thought life without Google Apps would be difficult, but I actually managed to download substitutes for nearly everything. Now, I did manage to actually download the official version of YouTube, and the way I'd done that was to open up APK Pure, download Google Play Store and Google Play Services, and then from APK Pure I was able to download YouTube. And YouTube works absolutely fine. You can stream a maximum of 1080p with no issues. but no other Google app would open. So I could not open the Google Play Store, I couldn't open Gmail or any other app, but YouTube and the Chrome browser worked absolutely fine. Now all my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram were all available to download from APK Pure and they are all working as they should. Now I think the app gallery has also expanded quite a bit since the last time I looked at the app gallery was with my P40 Pro a few weeks ago and since then I can see many new apps available. So it's nice to see that the app gallery is growing quite fast and if it keeps going like this Google might have some competition down the line. Now for 250 euros it is quite remarkable as to how Honor was able to squeeze so many great premium features for such a low price. And the trade-off is no fast charging, no wireless charging, but all in all, you're getting everything else you could possibly need to give you a decent experience. Now, I did enjoy having that powerful performance, which would normally only be available in mid-range to high-end devices. Now, the benchmark scores also proves the same. We achieved 311K on the Antutu benchmark test. And if you ever look at my benchmark chart for smartphones, you will notice that the Honor 9X Pro has ranked at position 33. And you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Now, battery life, I'm still testing. I will update you guys in the pinned comments on what happens. But as it stands, it looks like an eight to nine hour on-screen time is a possibility. But I will confirm that for sure in the pinned comments at a later stage. Now any questions feel free to fire them at me in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as I can. I think without Google services Honor has definitely made a good decision with this smartphone and in the future I would love to see more affordable smartphones just like this and I think that will prove important for the people to give Honor a chance without Google services and an opportunity for the app gallery to grow bigger. 
My second SIM card is inside the Honor 9X Pro. That is now my new secondary daily driver. And anything new I learn, I will share in the pinned comments. Now this phone is getting all my attention. I game on it more as it has liquid cooling and a very decent battery life. I play PUBG, I play Call of Duty Mobile. Microsoft Project X also works absolutely fine. So I've been playing that for many hours straight. And I am also achieving my top broadband speeds with this smartphone. This is my experience so far. It's pretty good. I am a fan of value and this phone offers super bang for your buck. There are a few things I've mentioned that you can bear in mind, but other than that, I think 250 euros is definitely a safe bet. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.